Hello, welcome to HCC Movie Makers Academy Movie Reviews. I'm Trey Dixon. I'm Rick Boyd. And I'm Sarush Mitty. And we just saw Fury, which is the new World War II film from writer-director David Ayer. That's, that's absolutely correct. Yeah, and <laughs> it, it stars Shia LaBeouf. It stars Shia LaBeouf, Brad Logan Pitt. Lerman, and Brad Pitt. Yeah, aside from Michael Pena. Uh, the film was actually uh, was actually shot with a, an Airy Alexa. Um, uh, I think the uh, I think the budget was uh, roughly around sixty-four million. Sixty-eight, 68 million. Around sixty-eight yeah. million. Um, I actually have no idea how much it grossed actually the first opening weekend. But uh, <coughs> aside from that, um, it was filmed in London. Um, it mostly, yeah. It, it's basically a World War II adaptation again. Uh, yeah, it centers on a, uh, a battle-hardened group of tank operators who have to carry out a dangerous mission behind enemy lines. And I, I enjoyed it. I wouldn't say it's great, but I enjoyed the film. Uh, what did you think, Rick? Um, I'm not sure. I'd, I thought it was a really good film. I'm not sure I... I'm not sure I would use the word enjoy. I, I thought it was a very depressing film. It, it's a hard... Enjoy is not the right word when you're talking about it. Yeah, I mean, it's, like a, it's a really good film. But it's not a film that I would like want to go see. Again. I, res I respected it for what it was because at yes. no point does David Ayer shirk his responsibilities in candy coating the tribulations of war. I think that the way that the graphic nature of all of the war sequences <coughs> is like really great. The final gun fight in this movie, I mean, this is this is maybe higher praise than it needs to be, but I feel like the final gun fight in this movie deserves to be mentioned in the same breath as the beach sequence in Saving Private Ryan. Like really, re no. The final no, fight. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, not, no. Not, not. It's not. No, it's not no. as good as that. No. But I think that it's. It's. It. I mean, it was very well done. I. And that's what the movie does well. All of the war sequences. Everything. The, the, here's the thing. I felt like that it was. It felt like to me that it was, Quentin Tarantino, trying to channel Stanley Kubrick. Really? Yeah. <laughs> because. On one side, he was trying to make an anti-war film. This is, yeah. you know, film is, you know, war is horrible, yada, yada, yada. But, ooh, let's have another action sequence. <laughs> yeah, let's kill a bunch of people because that's fun. Yeah. And it felt very at cross purposes. It, it really itself. feels like at certain instances it was made, it was a war film directed by the guy who did Sabotage, which is the movie that came out earlier this year starring Arnie, and it was completely disposable action schlock of the highest order. No, no I, th it was good action. I won't really good. But... The use of the tracers, I thought, was kind of overdone. Yeah. They didn't use tracers like that in World War II. It was mm -hmm. very, um, and uh, and having said that, I think it was, they, he worked hard at making it really realistic in other areas. Yeah. But I think without the tracers, the battle sequences wouldn't have been nearly as much fun mm -hmm. or nearly as visual. And so he decided that he had to do that even though it wasn't a realistic aspect of, yeah. the, of the whole thing. It, it was kind of like what would happen if you took a full metal jacket and, and crossbred it with Dirty Dozen. Yeah, it's that Stanley Kubrick versus... Like, really yeah. flashbang sort of gr almost grindhouse nature, but it, 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 has, it, has its, it has its deep emotional moments. And I, I, think, that it, I think that it worked in, in, in a lot of other areas. What do you think, Sarish? You know, it's, it's funny. I noticed... Um, because I don't know if anybody remembers Brad Pitt's character from Inglorious Bastards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we all remember that. He's not quite full on. Uh... But he's not. But he, but it seemed to me, because I don't know what it is. I'm, maybe it was me expecting that, you know, that top-notch performance that he delivered in Inglorious Bastards in Fury. But didn't really, uh, I think Brad Pitt's um, performance wasn't, I, I just, it wasn't believable to me. I thought Too his much. performance was better in this movie. I, uh, I mean, no, I, not really. I thought I, his character felt like a character for me anyway in this movie. Where, whereas like, Aldo Rain is a, is an entertaining personality, but he's kind of a caricature. Yeah, he, he was. Th this this character actually seemed to have like a backstory that you could discern in certain scenes. I mean, I guess. But I, I understand why you're saying that. See, here's, if you take the. Take the three main characters: the the Shia LaBeouf character, the 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 Bible guy, yeah. and War Daddy, the Brad Pitt character, yeah. and then the Machine, the newbie, the yeah. you know um, the Logan Lerman guy. 
of those three, because those are the really, that's kind of where the story revolves. The uh, Michael Pena and, 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 you know, the other guy, I mean, they're supporting actors in every sense of the word. They yeah. do a fine, I thought they did a fine job of, yeah. of their, of what they were called to do, but they didn't really have an arc. Yeah, they, not really. What? You had a nice moment near the end with John Bernthal where he, he sort of tells Logan Lerman, you're the best person that yeah. I know. Yeah. So, that, so you kind of get a sense that this, that war is something that transformed him. It was something that you, you maybe have an idea that he might might have been a different person before all of this. Yeah, um, it's, a, it's a mild hint of that, but yeah, <coughs> the, the character development for Michael Pena. But of, but of the three main characters, I thought Brad Pitt was easily the weakest. Really? I yeah. Agree. And, okay. and I think it's not. <clears throat> this almost pains me to say, but I don't think it was his fault. I think the problem was that the script was really conflicted. Because in one side, he, they wanted to portray him as this father figure, you know, I'm going to hold on to everything that is right and good and do my duty no matter what. Yeah. But then you turn around and you have him literally forcing somebody to commit murder on the battlefield. Yeah. And, and I think that it was, I think that scene right there, the, that one scene where he forces Logan Lerman to shoot, shoot the German to shoot the German prisoner, to me, in a sense, kind of spoiled the film because I found it really unbelievable. There, there are a couple, there are a couple scenes like that in the movie, like where where there's some odd tonal shifts and some major pacing issues. My biggest problem with the entire movie is the scene that's smack dab in the middle of the second act where Logan Lerman and Brad Pitt they go into this German yes. household, yeah. and there's this woman and her daughter, and I understand why. That was that scene was in there, but it was executed in a way that just sent the movie to a screeching halt, and it lasts forever. Yeah. And I don't know if there's yeah, going to be like a time. I don't know if there's going to be a director's cut of this movie, but if there if there is, they need to remove that scene entirely. Yeah, if they could have cut the scene out, showed them showed the two of them coming going into the apartment, coming out, zipping up their pants, and <laughs> yeah, I mean I, that sounds crude, but it, but literally that the whole scene in the middle w was. I didn't understand the point. I, you know, my, my, uh, I was talking with my mother actually, who saw the movie, and she said that uh, that's actually the best scene in the movie because you get like character development from everybody, and I don't believe that, but you, you, you get a sense that that Logan Lerman is sort of like devolving into a monster, and since he loses this one thing that he feels like he can hold on to throughout the entire course of this movie, like I can understand why people would think that that's an important scene, but it's executed in a way that just doesn't work at all. I agree with the trailer. Yeah, spent way too it much was. Time I mean, it, there was some character was. development, but it. I don't. I don't know that it was useful enough to, to warrant it being put in, and it slowed Particular, everything. Forty minutes or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it slowed everything down tremendously. It was. Yeah, it put the brakes on otherwise what was otherwise a fairly well developing film. Yeah. But you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of caricature, not caricature, but. There's a lot of, of typecast, the, the, the callow lieutenant who's... The Jason Isaacs. You know, that, yeah. that you know, still doesn't shave. And, <laughs> you know, I mean, there's, just, there's a lot of, 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 you know, of type characters in there that, I, that could have been developed a little bit more. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't think it was a bad film, but I, I listened to some people that go, you know, this is, this is the equal of... Uh, a full metal jacket or Saving Private Ryan, and I'm like, um, I, no, I, I'm sorry. I, I, read, I read one review that said it had the intensity of Saving Private Ryan with the with the psychological distress of Apocalypse Now, with the with the visual with the visual majesty of the Thin Red Line, and I'm like, well, <laughs> it yeah. tries to do all of those that things. The, that was the review it by was, the director's mother, right? Uh, yeah, no, okay. somebody who worked no on the doubt. film. No doubt. Yeah. yeah. You should see this movie five times. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's a good movie to go see. In my opinion, it's a good if you like that kind of feel. It's but be aware, it's very very bloody, yeah. and oh uh, it's not a girlfriend movie, not a um, or, or it's not a chick flick. And and um, if if language offends you, it's not a not a film that you should it go is, see. It is there in abundance. Yes. Uh, if, if, if nothing else, come for the final, the final 20 minutes of the film, because any problems that I had with the movie, I wasn't even thinking about at that point. Uh, anyway, 
Thank you for watching HCC Movie Makers Academy Movie Reviews. We're brought to you by HCC TV and the HCC Movie Makers Academy. Visit us on the web at www.hccs.edu. Call us up and take a class. Also, you can watch our reviews on YouTube. Uh, you can subscribe to our channel and catch us on more movie reviews, upcoming movie reviews. See you next time.